The only reason I'm here on this stage is because of open source. Uh, that's how I, I, I taught myself how to program when I was a kid, because of the, um, the grace of people giving their work away for free, doing things in the open, doing things publicly. And that was uh, back in the day when I was a kid, it was, it was around Linux. Um, and the open source community was starting to thrive as the internet was getting more and more accessible to people. And there was a bunch of communities on an old uh, system called Usenet. Some of you might be familiar with it, some of you may not. Um, but it was um, a message board, effectively. And it was fairly decentralized, just like uh, IRC, uh, Internet Relay Chat, was decentralized. And during the early days of the internet, there was a lot of really incredible open source sharing and, and energy, and also a lot of inherently decentralized energy through these, um, through these older systems. And then we saw this wave of more and more things getting centralized behind um, the web, such as Google, and really centralizing the discovery problem. How, how do I find things? How do I, uh, um, how do I find what I want to read about, what I want to understand. Um, but in Usenet, there was, a, there was a group called Alt Cypherpunks, um, which uh, were a bunch of fans of cryptography and cryptographers and mathematicians. And uh, the early days of PGP were chronicled there. And um, just a, a number of really radical acts and radical people. And um, the, the the gem, the, the thing that everyone was searching for, was money. Um, how to not reinvent money, but um, put money back in the control of the people. And um, so I'd been following that and, and interested in it for, for quite some time uh, as another way to learn and understand. And um, I, I just, I was a punk when I was a kid, and I, I thought it was the, just the coolest, most righteous, noble pursuit. Um, but it wasn't until 2008 when things really came together with, uh, with Satoshi and uh, whoever that person is or the group of people are took from so many ideas all over the, the internet to crystallize into this one moment which became the white paper and um, once I read it um, in that time I was just I was like wow this is, this is it, this is incredible because it is open because it is provable, because it is transparent, because it is visible to everyone. And incredibly, whoever this person is has, you know, kicked their ego to the side and, and given it to the world. I and mean, again, an act of grace um, that I saw early in the open source community, and uh, and want to continue to replicate and, and want to continue to to push. So that's how I came to it. Um, Square was starting at the same time as a, as a Bitcoin finally got going in 2009. There was a lot of financial energy uh, because of the financial crisis in 2008. Um, so there were a lot of companies uh, that were starting at that time, including our own. Um, and we, you know, we, we watched it very closely. We, we, we tested something in 2014 where we gave sellers the ability to accept Bitcoin um, on their web pages. Uh, no one really used it. We didn't have sellers that people really wanted to spend their Bitcoin at at that time. But um, in 2018, uh, we saw another opportunity to, again, learn about Bitcoin and how it might change our industry and what that trend is. And we built it into, into Cash App as an exchange. It was a Hack Week project with me and um, Mike Brock, who's back there, who, who, uh, who spoke yesterday. And uh, our, our only goal was just to um, be able to convert Bitcoin instantly to buy a cup of coffee and um, eventually that that translated into the exchange product for a number of reasons but that still is our goal we're, we're not in it to build an exchange we're in it to help the internet realize a native currency and therefore help the world realize a native currency um, and and when I say currency as, as Jack said before more of you know an open money trans transport an open money protocol um, that we can all see, we can trust, that's not controlled by our government, that's not controlled by a corporation. The only reason our company, Square, exists um, is because we saw a problem in that Visa and MasterCard were not allowing small merchants onto their network. And we just said, 
you know, we're, we're going to figure out how to do that. Um, so we're very familiar with companies, uh, whether they be banks or, or uh, networks like Visa and MasterCard, not enabling everyone and choosing uh, through not wanting to put resources into it or deliberately, uh, potentially uh, in collaboration with various governments. We, we saw what happened in Nigeria and, and SARS uh, and uh, how the Nigerian government went to various bank corps uh, with, within uh, to stop protesters receiving money, which Bitcoin made up for. So our whole reason for being as a company is solving the same problem that Bitcoin will ultimately solve for everyone in the world, uh, in my belief.